So even though this jibe looks all easy and you've probably done it a couple of times already on your surfboard, there is still a few technical difficulties that you'll have to overcome. First of all, the timing. It's very important that you first steer your kite and then half second or a second later follow with your board. If you don't do this, most likely you'll ride too fast downwind or the kite doesn't move far enough, your lines will go slack and your kite might end up in the water, but most certainly you will end up in the water. Then the wind strength plays a massive role in this jibe because if the winds are very light, it's easy to go faster than the wind. So therefore I recommend going out in some decent winds, try at least 14 knots or preferably a little bit stronger on a smaller kite because that will make the jibe so much easier.